Every week in counseling sessions, recovery meetings, and same-sex support groups, I sit with men and women who are dealing with struggles, with trials and temptations. And last night, as I sat with men who were struggling with addiction to substances and sexuality, I heard the pain in their voices as they related the ongoing struggle of staying on the path, staying sober, staying pure. Um, one man was talking about driving down I-45 where he had acted out um, in the past and how those pulls of temptation were still present even though he's maintained sobriety for an extended period of time. I think that for all of us, if we could escape temptation completely, we certainly would. What occurred to me after the meeting last night is how much God honors our willingness to stay steady, to stay on the path, to keep focusing on His goodness and grace even when we struggle. Sometimes all we can do is just put one foot in front of the other trusting Him to give us the ability to stay on the path when otherwise we would slip and fall. I know for me, having my own experience of struggle, I found that no matter what I did, there were still aspects of my life that pulled me in a direction that I did not want to go. And I cried out to God, as Paul did in 2 Corinthians 13, to remove the thorn in the flesh that was so painful and so difficult to deal with. But like my uh, forebear, the Apostle Paul, God chose not to pull that, that thorn out. Rather, He gave me the ability to keep on walking, to keep trusting Him in the face of difficulty. It's my view that in the eyes of heaven, one of the greatest things we can do is to trust God enough to persevere under suffering, to be willing to endure trial, to stand fast in the face of temptation, trusting that if we do, God will eventually reward us. It's tempting to think that we should be free of suffering, free of trial and temptation, especially when we've endured suffering for a long period of time, when we've gone far down the path. But I found that for most of us, there are things that we cannot control that cause us enduring difficulty and suffering. Maybe it's a painful relationship, uh, perhaps it's a physical illness or enduring chronic pain. Maybe it's compulsive behavior in the form of food or alcohol or sexuality. But these things we struggle with provide the means for us to demonstrate our faithfulness and trust in God. You know, the Apostle Paul, after having um, gone to God repeatedly about his thorn in the flesh, was able to shift his perspective to his suffering. Because God told him that his grace was sufficient, the Apostle Paul grabbed on to grace in the face of his struggle. He realized that the thorn kept him close to the healer. He realized that it is in the times of our weakness and struggle that we grow. In fact, it was Jesus' time in the wilderness when he was tried and tempted that allowed him to show up in a way that released the power of God. When he left that time of temptation and engaged his ministry, walking down the path that God had ordained for him all the way to the cross, Jesus knew through his time of testing that God had given him the strength to do what was asked. Whatever is before you today, whatever struggle, whatever temptation or trial, endure it patiently knowing that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness and that you will receive that crown of life which God promises to those who love Him. Hold on to Him.